Hello, my name is Agnes and in this video I'm going to show you how you can import content from your CSV files into multiple languages. We have two files. The first one represents our post in English and the second another language, Polish in this case. We want posts from both files to be imported into your WordPress site and also appropriate posts to be cross-connected between languages. Please note that both files include post categories and again, we want those categories to be cross-connected between your languages. We're gonna use two plugins to handle the import. To import the post, we're gonna use the WPO Import Pro plugin and to cross-connect the post between languages while importing the post, we also need a glue plugin, WPML All Import. Normally, we would start with importing our posts, but our posts also include categories, and these categories also need to be cross-connected between languages. So that's why we need to start with importing categories first. If you don't do so and you start with your posts, later on you might wonder why your categories are not cross-connected. And then you would need to manually cross-connect them, which we want to avoid. So that's why you need to prepare two extra files, CSV files, one with categories in English and another one for your other language, Polish in my case. Those files need to have two columns, one with a unique identifier and with the category name. Okay, so we are starting with importing the categories. We go to New Import and we upload the file with English categories first. Here we are selecting taxonomies and categories. We continue to step two where we can review our categories. Everything seems fine, so we continue. And here we are dragging the category name and basically that's it. We move on to the WPML All Import section and we need to check the language. The default one is English and we are importing our categories in English, so that's correct. We can also check this other category options section. And here the default is to create the category slack automatically, which is what we want. We continue to step four. And now we provide the unique identifier. All the defaults here are fine. You should also check this section and make sure that this increase speed option is unchecked. If this option is enabled, it can cause some issues, especially when importing translation and some translation might not be assigned to the corresponding language. It's unchecked, so we can continue. Okay, here's the summary. We have two categories to be imported so we can confirm and run the import. Okay, the import is complete. Let's go to post categories to check if our categories have been successfully imported. Everything seems fine here. And now we need to repeat this process with categories in your second language. Okay. We are importing categories to the other language, so we repeat the process again. We upload the file with Polish categories this time. And again, taxonomies, categories, 
we continue to the next step. Everything is fine here. We drag the name. But now, in the WP All Import section, here's, here's where we need to pause and make sure that we are selecting the proper language. English is by default, but now we are importing Polish categories, so we need to select Polish. But also, let's check this section. Here again, the default is, it says, import data in your main language. But we need Polish, so we need to select the second option. And here we need to select the file with your original categories. That's the file because it's the only file in our case, but if you have multiple files here, make sure you are selecting the proper one. Okay, here we need to provide a unique identifier. The one pre-selected is okay because that's the ID according to which the interface will do the matching between English and Polish categories. We continue to step four. Again, we provide the unique identifier and we continue to run the import. Let's check if we can see all those categories. So I'm selecting all languages. Yes, all categories are in place, but to make sure that they have been matched, let's click here. And that's correct. All those categories have been correctly matched, which is indicated in these two columns. Okay, now once we are done with importing categories, we can import the posts. We go to New Import. We upload the file with English properties first. We want to create new posts. And here the property name is going to be represented by the post title. Our description is going to be our post body. Short description is going to be our excerpt. As soon as the mapping is handled, then we move on to the WP All Import section to set up the language. We are importing English properties, so the default is fine. We can make sure that the proper selection option is also selected here, which is fine. And then we want to handle importing categories because this file also includes categories. So we want to say that this column is going to be mapped into WordPress categories. OK, we can also map the date and we continue to next step. We need to provide a unique identifier. The defaults are fine. And again, we need to make sure that this option is not checked. And we continue to next step. We can run the import and check our posts. We can see that our posts have been successfully imported along with categories. Now we want to import our translations. So we go to new import. We upload the file with Polish properties this time. We 
we continue to step three, we repeat the process, property name, description, short description. And now this is where we need to be really careful. By default, English language is selected, but we need to import the post to Polish. So we select Polish, but also we need to check this section because by default it will import the post to English. We need to choose the other option and here we have a list of files and we need to point to the relevant file that represents the file with English post. So this is this option. Here we provide the unique identifier that will be used to do the matching between the posts in languages. The default is fine, so we can continue to the next section. Here again, we want to import our categories. Uh, here we can again map the date. We continue to step four. We provide the unique identifier. And again, we make sure that this option is not checked. We can finish our process. The import is complete, so let's go to posts. Okay, posts in Polish have been successfully imported, which is indicated by this column. Let's switch to Polish to check our categories. These are also fine. But now let's check the post on the front end. Everything looks fine. And now let's check our category. And also categories are cross-connected. We are done with the import and everything seems to be in place.